everyone, my name is Indu and I'm the Deputy Dean here at Engineering Institute of Technology. So EIT focuses and specializes purely on engineering qualifications. Our programs are industry designed and we source our lecturers from all around the world. So you get a truly global perspective of what engineering is and you get to see and interact with people from all around the world. Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Mackay from the Engineering Institute of Technology and I want to spend a few seconds of your time talking to you about the marvellous industri industrial automation advanced diploma. Obviously the first question is what will I learn, what will I gain from the course? The idea is that you're going to learn the basics of industrial automation and start the process control loop tuning, plant layout, uh, distributed control systems, programming PLCs, working in hazardous areas, safety instrumentation, design, and of course shielding, and then the other area which is very close to my heart is IoT and um, industrial networking, and obviously using tools working with TCPIP. What are the actual specific learning outcomes? Well, um, you will gain the skills in the latest industrial automation um, areas, but you will be also taught by experts in the industry. Who will benefit from the, from the program is always a question um, on everyone's mind. But essentially, it will be everyone from technicians all the way up to technologists and engineers. Today, we'll look at some of the programs and tools you'll be using in your DIA program. So while learning industrial automation, you will definitely come across your programmable logic controllers, your HMI systems, general control systems, as well as DCS and SCADA systems. Supplementing your learning of the program will be your virtual and remote laboratories and industry-grade software, um, like Autodesk, Wireshark, Codesys, and there are many more that will be covered during the program. Now, next we want to talk about accreditation. So the course is accredited by Australian standards, as well as recognised under the Dublin Accord with Engineers Australia. Some of the job outcomes include automation technician, automation supervisor, electronics assembler. You can work as a controls technician or a field technician, or it could be a project supervisor. There's no limits in the type of jobs you can undertake once you finish this qualification successfully. 